executive director of the Self Storage Association of Asia, with members from Japan to Jordan. The self storage industry across Asia is expanding at a dramatic rate. Over the past couple of years,、uh, even during COVID, self storage has done very well as people change their working style、uh, to do a lot more work from home, and we also saw students、uh, doing homeschooling. Then people wanted to clear their houses out and create more space at home, and they're using self storage to do it. In addition to that, the rise of small scale e commerce has led more and more businesses to adopt self storage as a flexible solution for them, and so demand is way off the charts. The self storage industry in Asia has really, really been doing well by helping people to adapt to the COVID pandemic. However, As the COVID pandemic restrictions are lowered in many countries, things are going to go back to a more normal pre-COVID、uh, type of activity. The one thing that will persist is e-commerce as a driver of the industry, and second,、uh, more people are using self storage now and are making it a part of their daily lives. And COVID may have driven them to self storage in the first place, but now that they're used to it, they really like it, and so that's helping drive demand. So Hong Kong has seen really an explosion of self storage, almost a, another wave of expansion from when it first arrived in Hong Kong. There's a couple of different ways in which that expansion is happening.、Uh, smaller operators are growing organically,、uh, trying to find new industrial properties where they can open up their business and expand. They're full up. They have customers that want to place storage with them, so they have to go out and find it. For the larger companies, what we're seeing is the arrival of institutional investment. So big players are coming to the market, like Blackstone, Brookfield. Uh, and they are partnering with self-storage operators in Hong Kong, or investing with them directly to open up more self-storage, to buy buildings, and to create more space for the huge demand that we have in Hong Kong right now. So Hong Kong has seen really an explosion of self-storage, almost a, another wave of expansion from when it first arrived in Hong Kong. There's a couple of different ways in which that expansion is happening.、Uh, smaller operators are growing organically. Uh, trying to find new industrial properties where they can open up their business and expand. They're full up. They have customers that want to place storage with them, so they have to go out and find it. We are so excited to be back doing a live, in-person self storage expo Asia this year. Obviously, like many events, we had to hold off for a couple of years during COVID, but we are bringing it to Singapore in November,、uh, November 14th, 15th, and 16th. We are going to have site tours, including our first ever valet storage site tour. We're going to see robotics. We're going to see artificial intelligence、uh, and how it is used in self storage. We're going to be bringing the latest and greatest technologies to self storage operators that they can, you know, use to improve their businesses and excite their customers. We're going to be introducing the Safe Singapore program at this event. We are going to represent the awards from our first ever self storage awards Asia, and we are going to have an investors forum where real estate investors, people who know the business. But who maybe haven't yet been introduced to self storage can come down, spend one day with all the top players in the industry to find out more about self storage and how they can invest and do well with those investments. So I mean, it's going to be three days of knowledge, networking, and of course, the nighttime entertainment at our events is legendary. So it's going to be awesome.